What's up, guys? Mainly Hockey Cards here, and today, happy Upper Deck Extended Series release day, and happy Bedard card card release day. I, I don't know. Anyway, here are my picks for the top 10 base young guns to collect and or invest in from this product. If you're looking for a more extended version, Badumtis, I'll make sure a link appears around now. First, an honorable mention, Georgi Merkulov, who had no points in four NHL games this season, but did put up 65 points in 67 AHL regular season games, has a killer one-timer, and had 30 goals. At number 10 is Martin Pospisil. Pospisil, though already 24, had 24 points in his first 63 NHL games, while playing only about 12 and a half minutes a game. Of course, this is also due to the fact that he had 109 penalty minutes. At number 9 is Isaac Rosen, 21 years old, no points in his first 7 NHL games, but 50 points in 67 AHL regular season games this past season. At 8 is Dylan Garand, who is a 22-year-old goaltender with two below-average AHL regular seasons and two great postseasons. I think he has a decent amount of potential for the future, but it's likely going to have to come in a spot other than New York. At 7 is Yeri Kulich, who is a promising young player for the Sabres, just 20 years old and had 45 points in 57 regular season AHL games, and had 12 points in 7 games at the World Juniors. In the 6th spot is Dennis Hildeby, who could be the goaltender of the future for the Leafs. While Joseph Wall looks like he's getting re-signed, Hildeby is waiting in the wings and turning heads. At 5 is Ivan Miroshnichenko, who is a pretty highly touted young player, 6 points in his first 22 NHL games, and 12 points in 20 playoff games for the Calder Cup winning Hershey Bears. At 4 is Shimon Nemitz, who is going to be an elite defenseman someday, and him and Luke Hughes on the blue line for New Jersey is a really scary thought as a Rangers fan. He just turned 20 and has 19 points in 60 games in the NHL. Starting our top three is Matt Savoy, who played only one NHL game this year, but had five points in six AHL games, 71 points in 34 WHL regular season games, and 24 points in 19 WHL playoff games. At number two is Logan Cooley, who had 44 points in 82 games for a bad Arizona Coyotes team turned Utah. He could be a franchise player there and has an extremely promising future. And the number one young guns of the series is none other than Adam Fantilli. Fantilli had 27 points in 49 games prior to his injury and is only going to get better from here. A quick video today, but I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, like the video and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Enjoy Extended Series.